Hey everybody, Maria Marquis here. In this video, we're going to talk about the final database pattern, which is bi-directional. What this means is we can have deeper linkage across our tables so that everything's always staying up to date. So step one in a bi-directional database pattern is to create that relation. So here I've got my objectives table and my key results table. This all starts with me clicking here and choosing to add a relation column. And I can choose to create a new table, but in this case, I've already got my objectives table right here. I'm just choose that and get that set up. Now, if I want this to be bi-directional, I'm gonna click on this handy little create column button. What this will also do is create a column in that other spot so that when I add something here, like this is part of increased customer satisfaction, notice it shows up up here too. I can then change it here as well saying, oh, this is not part of that goal at all. No, 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 this is part of release zero bugs. Notice it changes down here too. That's the beauty of that bi-directional lookup. It allows you to see it in two places and know that wherever you make the change, it's happening in the other spot too. So step two, remember to do that linked relation by clicking create column. And step number three is update and see those changes. So in just a couple clicks, you can have that deep connection across your data and know that you can make the changes wherever you are in that moment. Now it's your turn. Take a look at your tables. Is there an opportunity for some bi-directional lookups? If so, go for it and I'll see you next time.